Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Formation Frenzy and today guys this isn't a budget squad yet when I start doing the four at the back formations that's when I'm going to start doing some budget squads I know there's a lot of um just a lot of uh, requests for budget squads you know 100 100k ish type squad so I'll do that when I come to uh, the four at the back formations but today we've got the 3-4-2-1 formation and um this is kind of like a variation on the 3-4-3 three, three formation. The 3-4-3 three, three formation is kind of like the 4-3-3 three, three formation in the sense that you have your left wing, your striker, and your right wing. And they all play quite far apart at the top. But this team is a hybrid between like a Chelsea, Porto, Premier League, La Liga, uh, or Real Madrid um formation uh, formation sorry hybrid. It's really quite strange to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, it works out really nicely and... You guys probably right now are like, Cal, what the hell did you just do? You've always said PC centre backs when you're playing three at the back. And then I go ahead and put John Terry there. Honestly, guys, John Terry works absolutely perfectly in this team. I'll explain a little bit why um, a little later on, but he, he only has 61 pace, but there's a reason why he works so, so well in this particular formation. Anyways, to his left, we have Mangala. We've seen him in previous um, three at the back teams, and uh, also we have David Luiz, one of the most overpowered defenders in the game. So uh, that kind of explains the three at the back. They're, they're quick, um, except for John Terry, but I'll explain a little bit why soon. Then at left midfield, who links up with Mangala, um, with that Porto link, you have Varela, another five-star skiller. And then another Porto player, we have João Moutinho, who played fantastically in the Euros. And um, there is actually a purple version of him if you're interested and you have the coins. So, um, yeah, so, so far, this team's, you know, it's pretty cheap. It's not too expensive. And then you also have another Portuguese player there, Raul Morelos, but also he fits in with that Chelsea link. So, we've got all four Chelsea players in there at the moment, and uh, their defense is pretty solid. Those two center midfielders work amazingly together for some strange, strange reason. I understand they're both Portuguese, but they're always helping each other out, making runs off each other constantly. And then obviously to Raul Morelos' right-hand side, we have Aaron Lennon, who personally I prefer over Walcott in, uh, in FIFA, that is. And uh, he just seems to be t so much quicker. I don't know why. I, for, for me, Walcott just doesn't feel fast whatsoever. But uh, I know Lennon just feels like he can bomb it down the wing now. We have a slightly unexpected player. You know he's a non-rare, but he's my favorite non-rare player in the game. That is Ben Arfa. He has five-star skills and uh, just so, so good. And you'll see I score quite a few goals with him. Then here comes the expensive part of the team, I suppose. You know, if you wanted to change up uh, Ronaldo with another left-wing player from the La Liga, um, you know, it might be a bit hard with chemistry, but... Um, he works so, so well. We all know how great Ronaldo is in FIFA 12. Uh, EA have just made him an absolutely insane player. Then to top it all off, we have Benzema, Karim Benzema, the 85 version. You guys know if you watched my video from yesterday, I actually prefer the 84 version. But uh, for the sake of the squad, squad builder, sorry, I decided to make it the 85 version. And he's the one I have in my club at the moment. So that team there looking all fine and dandy. So let's talk a little bit about... John Terry, the player that, you know, I was kind of discussing about a little bit. Um, he works so well for the reason that it's just, he's, he's, he's a rock at the back. To put, to put it uh, perfectly honest with you guys, he's just a, simply a rock. Um, he jumps, his interceptions are fantastic. Um, he gets in the air and he just works so well. And to be honest with you, as long as you play a slow player and he's the middle of those three, I think you're get, you'll get away with it. You just have to make sure that they're strong and uh, they're very good at intercepting because that's what they're going to have to do. Kareem Benzema there rockets one into the top of the net there and uh, that was a pretty nice goal from him but the most impressive player for me has got to be um, Ben Arfa in this team he was just he was on fire and you'll see I score quite a few goals with him later on in this uh, later on in these um, goal compilation I suppose but uh, yeah so John Terry you can play a player who is slow um, just make sure you play him in the middle and make sure he's good at intercepting balls that's probably the the little tip I'd give you guys. So I suppose you could say I was wrong in the sense that I said that you had to have all three players were fast. Don't get me wrong. That absolutely helps. If John Terry had 75 pace, 
holy crap, he would be an insane defender. But, uh, you know, you might not like him in real life, but trust me, guys, put your real life issues aside with him and uh, try him out as centre-back and give him a go because I honestly think that you guys will be pleasantly surprised. And uh, Ronaldo completely shreds his defence there and slots one into the, into the far post and... Uh, that's what Ronaldo does so well in this game. For some reason, EA, uh, FIFA kind of accommodates the way that Ronaldo plays more than anything else. Uh, Messi, you know, he's good. And if you guys watch one of my squad builders where I had, I believe it was last episode actually, I managed to play Messi in a formation where I've never seen him play so well before. And uh, so I, I'd kind of recommend you guys to try that out. But for some reason... Ronaldo just completely obliterates Messi as far as FIFA 12 goes. I do know a couple people who do prefer Ronaldo, uh, sorry, Messi to Ronaldo on FIFA, but uh, it, the majority of people tend to enjoy using Ronaldo a little bit more, and uh, I, I don't blame you. He's just so good in this game, and uh, there Ben Arfa with a nice little McGeady spin, followed by a rocket past uh, the keeper at the near post, and um, you know, for some reason, there is an 84 inform rated version of Ben Arfa, but uh, he doesn't seem to do uh, as well as I thought his 84 version would. You know, don't get me wrong, he is an improvement from the uh, non-rare card, but uh, he's not that hu drastically huge uh, increase that you would expect, uh, going from a 79 rated to an 84 rated, which is his inform. But uh, yeah, this formation... It is a much, much better version to his, uh, much better, um, formation compared to, uh, its sister, I suppose, which is the 3-4-3 formation. I just prefer this a whole lot more. Or maybe it's the team that I prefer, but for some reason, this team just does just so, so much better than the 3-4-3. I find defending, it seems to be better. Um, Attacking-wise, the play is much, much better. It's a lot more close-knit, which I kind of prefer, as Ben Arfa completely just dances and jiggles around the defense and slots that one home. But the, as far as my favorite three at the back formation goes, it's got to be 3-5-2 for me. It just, uh, without a doubt, 3-5-2 has got to be the best formation. Followed by this one, probably. This was the my second favorite, and, uh, you know, 3-4-3, and, uh, I believe it's 3-4-1-2, they, they were good formations, but defensively, they just didn't cut it for me, which was a bit of a shame, but that'll do it for today, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, then leaving a like, favorite, whatever you guys enjoy doing, a comment as well would be much appreciated, and, uh, if you missed my starting from scratch video, that will be up, or that is already up, and you guys can check that out on my channel, and I'll catch you guys all later, thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.